coming up on Movie Buff. Get ready to hide behind your hands with Drag Me to Hell. The Jonas Brothers are coming at you in their 3D concert experience. And two pinups for the price of one. Beyonce and Ali Lata star in Obsessed. They've been blamed for the world's financial mess, so there are probably a few things we all wouldn't mind doing to bankers. But how's about dragging them to hell? Well, that's the premise of Sam Raimi's latest Fright Fest. Loan officer Christine has three days to escape her one-way ticket to fire and brimstone when she is placed under a curse. <laughs> it's after she embarrasses the elderly Mrs. Ganoush by refusing to give her an extension on her mortgage. What do you I beg you? Please let go. Please let go. Security! Cue creepy music and violent attacks from dark spirits. And thanks to her director, poor Alison Lohman really did take a pummeling. We would have beaten her up and thrown her against the walls and put her in harness and had old ladies slobbering on her and uh, had old corpses falling upon her and having her run into cabinets, burying her alive under 800 pounds of mud and. She'd say, want me to do it again, Sam? You know, she was really beaten up, and sometimes I'd have to say, yeah, we gotta do it again, we gotta, but this time, stay under the mud for 16 seconds more. And when you go into that mud, I want you to keep your eyes open so the mud goes over your open eyes. The audience can tell if those eyes aren't open that you're not, uh, you know, unconscious. Okay. So I felt a little bad. Not so bad that I didn't ask you to do that stuff, mind you, but a little bad, I felt. It was pretty, pretty out there, you know, I'd never really want to have to go through it again. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Long joins the ride as boyfriend Clay, who holds her hand through the grisly experience. My only real requirement was to um, have chemistry with Allison, and, and, uh, and it was easy because she's, she's lovely and she's so good, she's so natural, and she pretended in a very real way to actually like me. So uh, I bought, I believed it, I fell for it. Um, and then I popped the question at the end and in real life and she was like, what are you talking about? We were making a movie. She was that convincing. So is it scary? Uh, do you have to ask? They set the shock and gore factor to 10. So expect to be leaping out of your seat. Even the too cool for school chiller junkies among you. After nearly a decade off the horror map, Sam Raimi stamps his return to his roots with a deadly funny roller coaster ride of a movie, with even a few trademark touches from his first flick, Evil Dead. One word of warning though, after watching this, you may never want to see one of these again. Before I leave, I have a very small parting gift for you both. We, we have to accept, we have to, I will just say this, we you have to accept it. You absolutely do. There's a button for you, and there's a button for you. I'm gonna take this because I don't want you to go to hell. And I know I can give it to somebody else. That's the only reason. Just pass it on, exactly. Yeah, it's like pay it forward. Not to me, I already... <laughs> Jonas Brothers are one of the biggest bands on the planet right now and they're inviting you to their concert. You've even got a backstage pass. This is going to be real out of control. Introducing the Jonas Brothers Rockumentary, the 3D concert experience. Cameras caught the band on stage during rehearsals. They were even filmed in bed. The movie gives an insight into the absolutely crazy lives of the biggest singing siblings since the Osmonds. The fans obviously feature very heavily in this uh, new film. Um, and there's, there's no denying there is a lot of love for the Jonas Brothers. You know, you guys totally appreciate um, the fan base and stuff. But when you meet someone and they just burst into tears. It's the first time that happens, is that not a little bit weird? Um, it's pretty funny, because sometimes you just don't know how to react. You're like, it's okay, what's wrong? You know, but it's, it's all good. You know, I think our fans just show their appreciation in a very, very unique way. And it's very, very amazing. And we definitely have the best fans in the world. And when there's hundreds of them running after the car, a little scary? Sometimes. <laughs> The film features guest appearances by fellow chart toppers Demi Lovato, who appeared alongside the brothers in Camp Rock, and Taylor Swift. The boys are also caught on camera showing off some pretty cool aerobics. Has it ever gone wrong? Have you ever slid off the edge of the stage? We haven't slipped off the edge of the stage, but there's this one where Joe um, takes my foot and then flips me like this, but one night he yeah, didn't. He jumped too early. 
no, no, he, he decided to just cop out, and I mean, it's like my whole life depends on the fact that I have it's to It's pretty funny, though. It looks like we just, like, we don't know what There's we're doing. There's a YouTube video online. Just go Flip's Gone Wrong by the Jonas Brothers. It's there. If you've always wanted to see the Jonas Brothers in concert but haven't had the chance, then this is the film for you. If you're not really too bothered, then you should probably opt for something else. Fans will adore the gig and the behind-scene moments, even though some of them are clearly staged. But if you're not in love with the Joe Bros, then you'll probably leave the cinema feeling like you've wasted an hour and 15 minutes of your life. My name is Monica Reese. I'm the investigating detective. When it comes to acting, some singers have found it hard to shake off their pop star image. And that's kind of been the case for Beyonce Knowles. In Dreamgirls, she was overshadowed by her then co-star Jennifer Hudson, who actually went on to win an Oscar for her role as Effie White. However, Bee's new movie, Obsessed, could be her ticket to acting glory, as it's a feisty thriller that shows the star as we've never seen her before. Yes, you pack your tooth brush and then I want you to get your socks, your shaving kit, your underwear, your prophylactics if you think you need them and get your ass out of here. Sharon! When I, I conquered Cadillac Records, which was so dramatic and way more difficult than, than anything I, I've done, uh, I really felt like it was time after that for me to kind of step out of my comfort zone and uh, go more into some of the dramatic roles. And this, I think, is so great because it has different textures. It starts off really charming and this sweet, perfect relationship, and you, you see the suspicion, and then you see the anger and rage, and I, I definitely felt like it was time, and it's a very important movie for me. Beyonce plays Sharon Charles, a woman who seems to have it all, a beautiful house and the right man by her side. But it all starts to go wrong when Lisa, her husband's co-worker, steps into their life. You see, Lisa is obsessed with Sharon's husband, Derek, and tries everything to split the couple up. Did you not get my message? I'm so sorry. We didn't want you to find out this way. I knew it would come to this. I know how hard it must be to have someone fall out of love with you. Director Steve Hill, who's previously been involved with TV shows Dexter, The Wire and The West Wing, has picked an A-list lineup for his first feature. Besides Knowles, it also stars Wire actor Idris Elba and glamorous heroes actress Ali Lata. Idris has the tough job of playing Derek, a man who's caught between Beyonce and Ali. Well, I mean, it, it's phenomenal, you know, these women are beautiful, and, but the scenario really is a horrible scenario to really be in. But me as an actor, lovely. You know, what, what more can I ask for? Some of the most beautiful women in the world fighting over me, it was great. Well, hey, which guy wouldn't enjoy that? Despite its hard-hitting story and well-known cast, though, Obsessed has had some awful reviews. Thing is, if you want to find out how this sexy cat fight ends and see Beyonce do her thing on the big screen, then you got to go see it. Music